Coalition for Nigeria says it is in order for President Mohamed Buhari nephew, Maman Daura, as an elder statement to speak on the future of Nigeria. Speaking at the press conference on Wednesday in Abuja, the convener Sabu and the president of the coalition expressed total support for the Ventura journalist's vision for a new Nigeria. Daura had, in a recent interview here by BBC Alza Savi dismissed the issue of zoning and rotation of the nation presidency. He had argued that competence, not geography, should determine the next president of Nigeria in 2023. Stressed that the turn by turn was done once, twice, and three times. It is better for this country to be one, it should be for the most competent person and not for someone who comes from somewhere. Besides, it is our considered opinion that if the contest of the statement made by Mala Mam Mamandaura can be viewed objectively, and without sentiments, the nation will be spared all the uproar and set on the right path to, to true and quality leadership. The issue, as you will want to know, is that Mala Mamandara, who is known to be one of the closest persons to our amiable Mr. President, Muhammad Buhari, had on Tuesday stated in the course of the of an interview with the BBC House of Service that competence, not geography, should determine the next president of Nigeria in 2023 and beyond. He was quoted to have said that this turn by turn presidency, it was done once, it was done twice, and it was done thrice. It is better for this country to be one. It, is also, it, should, it also should be for the most competent and not for someone who comes from somewhere. This statement, if viewed objectively, implies that since Nigerians have tried the rotational presidency three times already, it would be better to go for the most qualified candidate in 2023, irrespective of whether he comes from the north or the south. But this trite and wise statement has, however, been given various interpretations by sections of this country who view it as an attempt by the North to deny other regions in the country the opportunity to have a shot at the presidency. And according to CN, the hot trade that trade our assertion is unnecessary due to the noble and patriotic goal it is capable of achieving for the country. Neither did he exclude any region or zone has not been competent to provide credible leadership for the country in 2023 and beyond. He only sought to emphasize the merit of competence over parochial considerations. With his statement, what his statement implies is that if the best candidate happens to be from any zone in the country, whether the person is from the south, south, north, east, southeast, North Central, Southwest, or the Northwest, that person should automatically qualify to be president of Nigeria. This means that if competence is lacking in any of the candidates from any zone, including the North where Daura hails from, then that person or persons should not be given the chance to rule Nigeria. How that implies that he is favoring the North beat one's imagination as nowhere was that implied in the statement. Another thing that Malanda Dara's statement seek to place merit above all other consideration for the leadership recruitment process in Nigeria, which is what all well-meaning Nigerians have been hankering on, as opposed to a situation where sentiments is allowed to be the overall guiding principle. The coalition, however, advised the Hanis and Indigo and order that is high time the country move away from Porosha settlement and submit to the dynamic of modern time. The group further said it is 100 percent behind Dara in the quest to ensure that qualitative and best form of leaders for the country emerge in 2023 and beyond.